I have just come back from a few days on the small Danish island of Fenu, off the west coast of Jutland in the North Sea, and I totally fell in love with it. Not long after I arrived, I decided to record a little bit in case I felt there was something about it I wanted to share, and it turned out there was. A variety of different things. Fenu has so much to offer, both in terms of nature and history and, well, hygge. The beaches are different from most beaches in the world. In some places they are one kilometer wide, which means you can walk or ride your bike or drive on it and not run into anyone. But it's the little villages I really fell in love with. Most of the houses are centuries old, and instead of building new houses, people on the island renovate their old houses. To me, they're utterly charming and beautiful. We cycled the length of the island and walked on the beach. Then we hopped off our bike to check out the southernmost village of Sunahu. Sunahu is on a list of the 10 most idyllic villages or places in Denmark, and I can see why. That's a mine from the Second World War, which has been painted in the colors of the Danish flag. You can also see bunkers from the war here and there on the island. Then we cycled all the way back to where we started, which was a bit of an effort on a rattling bike, I have to say. In the northern part of the island where we stayed, we walked around and saw all the lovely houses and visited some of the shops and cafes. At least half the tourists there were Germans. It's very easy for them to get to the island as the German border is close by. was so much calmer than most places I've visited. People were visiting with each other, doing things in their gardens. A place of no stress. I was sorely tempted to knock on some of the doors and ask them if they'd ever considered selling their house.
I was especially taken with their gardens. Many of them looked like English cottage gardens. This one was probably my favorite. I kept coming back to it and felt like a bit of a paparazzi recording it and taking pictures of it, but I mean, look at it. There were many narrow footpaths you could walk on, which meant that we could often walk right up to people's houses. I felt a bit intrusive, but on the other hand, I was deeply curious. And there were wild seals as well. They climbed up on the beds of sand every evening right across from our hotel. A ferry from the mainland sails every 12 minutes and takes only 12 minutes. It's very easy to get there and to just be there. It's a very relaxing place which we really appreciated. So consider this a recommendation if you find yourself in this part of the world. <laughs> 